All right, let's go. Guahaha. If it isn't my old pal Mario, I've been waiting for you. I'm amazed that you managed to come this far. How lucky for me. You've been a distraction for far too long, little man. It'll be a pleasure to squash you personally again. Mario. Oh my gosh. Fool, you can't beat me. I'm invincible. Are you? Okay. Ah, uh, Guaha. All right, Mario. Let's see your so-called power. Well, my power is in the form of my child. It's Evil King Bowser, finally, after all this time. Max HP 50, defense power 1. He has a huge arsenal of attacks, from blowing clouds of fire to jumping on us. Fire attack, 8. Stamp attack, nail attack, 6. I'm sure he has other attacks that I don't know. Boy, does he look nasty. He's strong enough as it is, but I'm sure he can use that star rod to increase his power until he's nearly invincible. Princess Peach needs us. Let's take him, Mario. Do I have jump charge? Heck yeah, I do. Oh, lucky, good. I oh, love it, love it. Absolutely love it, thank you. Yo, we're charging boys over here. All right, enough of that. Now witness the power of this fully operational star rod. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's not. Let's use star beam. It's believed to briefly stop Bowser's star rod power. Here we go. Get him, boys. What the owl? What in the world was that? Gah? It, what happened to the power of that star rod? Dude, I don't know, man. And I don't want to find out. You ready to bounce on this boy? Oh, so late! I was so late on that. That's not bad. God, you cheap little coward. This fight's just beginning. Oh, is it? I think this fight's just ending. Oof, Goombario! No! Goombario, man! No, you let him heal! Oh, boo, Goombario! <laughs> oh, you're supposed to do the work, kiddo. That didn't work. <sighs> oof, oof! What happened? I thought he was powering up. Shoot, dude. Useless. Dude, he hit Goombario with that. Because it's hard to find out where the hitbox is when you have to press the A button. Because Bowser's like a little taller. Oh my gosh, good luck. Good luck. Love that. Thank you. You're mine. Dude, what? Do I have all or nothing on? Ow! I can't do 19 damage. Oh man, this is tough. Took myself a little hole over here. Dude, I blocked it, my son! Rude. I don't think I can do 19. I just don't want him to heal again. And at, at, once he gets like under some sort of threshold, he heals.
Luckily, Starbeam is free. I don't think it costs anything to use it. Oh, great. Love that. Thank you. There's my lucky day coming in, coming in clutch. Good, good, there we go. Bowser's done, ladies and gentlemen, everyone. And a free refill! Yes! Cool. Gosh, you're not bad, how'd you get so strong? Still, you're just an annoyance. That was like a warm-up for me. No, leave me alone, Mario, help me! Oh gosh, now in the flying Koopa clown car, okay. If you want to save Princess Peach, you better follow me. Oh, wow. That was intense. That was... I messed up Goombario's jumps, and therefore I paid for it. Dodge Master is good. Power Bounce is good. Uh, all or nothing... Mm. All or nothing is extra power. I don't mind it. But can I do something else with the additional... Additional four. Can I do something with four badge points? I mean, power bounce is great. What can I do with four badge points that, that would be helpful for me? Damage dodge would be great. Yeah, that would help me out with defense a little bit more. Um, you know what? I'm okay with it. it it's fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. This is my build. We're just going to run with it. It's a more defense-oriented uh, build, so we've got a lot of HP. We'll be fine. Let's go, Mario. Let's go, Goombario. Oh, cool. Oh, man. He's going. He's flying up to the very top, man. Oh, good save point. Good. It would be even better if they gave you, like, a free heart, right? Oh, look at this paper thin bridge. Don't fall off, Mario. Cool, ha ha, welcome to your nightmare. You should thank me, Mario. Since you've been my rival for so long, I've arranged a special arena for your defeat. It's on top of some sort of floating clown. Haha, <laughs> like it. You're completely trapped. How does it feel, huh? Mario, be careful. Blah ha 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 You fell right into our trap. And you call yourself a hero? Did you think we were foolish enough to just sit back and watch as you save the star spirits? I put together a little surprise for you. A device that increases Bowser's power. King Bowser will be so powerful that not even the power of the star spirits can compare. He'll now truly be invincible, thanks to my wisdom. Are you ready, my king? Then power up! Now, 50% bigger. Oh, Kami Koopa. That was incredible. I feel like I'm exploding with power. Now I'll be able to squash this cheeky plumber. Hey, you, Mario. It's not gonna be like uh, before, you mustache loser. Prepare to be beaten. All right, the real final battle. All right, here we go. Uh, what am I, what kind of damage am I doing with this guy? Poof. That was cool. Um, yeah, great. I used Mega Jump right there. Uh, it's Evil King Bowser. Uh, I think he's got bigger. That's not a good sign. Okay, 99 defense power two. Huge arsenal attacks from blowing up clouds and jumping on us. Fire attack, stamp attack, nail attack. Sure, he has other attacks that I don't know. Okay, okay. We're just gonna skip. This is like the first part that we don't have to worry about. We're just gonna skip all this. Fudge, man. 10 hertz. Yeah, I like that. Can you do anything? I don't think he does anything. 
Oh, cool. Never mind. Two damage, great. Yeah, we get a free refill after this little first bout, so don't worry about it. And then we gotta go through the whole Star Beam, Peach Beam thing. It's hard. All right, here we go, here we go. Moving. We gotta, okay, so once we get back into Bowser, then, then we can do it. This is just like, yeah, you don't you don't press the button, you just keep on pressing the A button. Anyway, so how are you guys enjoying the boss battle so far? Fun? Yeah? Exciting? I was so very excited about like the super jump charge concept. So much. I was very excited for it. Let's go. You know, before they used to, at Paper Mario Origami King, they had some stuff at like the Nintendo website where you can like print out Paper Mario sheets and like cut them out. I don't know if they have those anymore, but like you can find a picture of Mario and print it out your, yourself and cut them out. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not paying 10 bucks for a piece of paper with Mario on it. Not happening. All right, here we go. Almost done, man. Hurry up, Bowser. Come on, man. Ugh, way to go, Twink. This is all scripted battle, so not bad. All right, Cammy's gone, getting knocked out. She really didn't have that much HP. Yeah, Mega Jump is actually really cool. Dude, what game's better? What game do you think is better? Mario RPG? Or Paper Mario? Ooh, that's a tough one, huh? Mario RPG or Paper Mario? That's a that's a very tough one. I like the concept of building Mario to like offense, defense. I, I love that a lot. But I just still think that Mario RPG is better. Okay, here we go. Battle against Bowser. This is the final Bowser. Uh, now, the thing is though, um, I changed up my badge sets so that I'm using Mega Jump and I'm taking away all the other nonsense that doesn't work. You can't do a jump charge anymore. It's just not a thing. Um, so anyway, here we go. We're gonna go tattle. Uh, let's do this one. Tattle on him. Let's see if he... It's Evil King Bowser. No more messing around. Oh yeah, here we go. Huge arsenal attacks from blowing up clouds, jumping on us, fire attack 10, nail attack 8. We've seen that. I'm sure he has other attacks that I don't know. When he increases power of the star rod, our attacks will be totally useless. And when that happens, you must use our ultimate weapon, the peach beam. It has the power of everyone's wishes. This is our time, Mario. Let's take this chump. We're coming, princess. Okay, great. So the only move that I'm going to be using is mega jump. And it's going to be doing some decent damage. We'll see. Holy moly, I forgot to use Peach Beam! Oh, gosh! Save me, Merle! Okay, that was good. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Peach Beam! I'm, I mean, I wanted to show you that you can't do any damage to him. I mean, but I wasted... I wasted an FP, man. That stinks. That's okay, don't worry. We got it, we got it. All right, Peach Beam, done. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. My Star Rod's power is gone. 
Brown all down. Okay, so I'm gonna change member. We're gonna go Watt. Uh, Watt does consistent damage. Okay, I blocked that for Niner. That hurts so much. Oh, go. Eight damage, not bad. Watt does five. Uh, I guess I could turbocharge. No, no, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna Electro Dash. I'm just gonna do Watt's five damage every time, and we're calling it. Because we need to penetrate through the de defenses. Ten! Ow! Good. Luckily, that HP drain is there, man. Got it. Oh, sweet. Thanks for the lucky. That's lucky day coming through. Beautiful. All right, and just like that, since we changed up our strategy, we're doing a lot more consistent damage every turn. The battle's not over yet. Okay, he's gonna Peach Beam up. Now, Bowser also has the ability to heal, too, so we gotta watch out for that. Peach Beam, go. Right? Happy! Go. Consistent five. Oh my gosh, that comes out so fast. Oh my gosh. I need a smooch. I need to block that shot, otherwise my partner's done. He just recovered 30 health. I'm so early on that, man! I wonder if I can chill him out. I'm definitely wanting to try, but I also don't want to just like waste two of my heart, two of my star uh, meters. Because I just need smooches, man. Chill out would be really cool. He's the final boss though. I don't know if chill out's gonna even work. All right, ignore the defense, do a consistent five damage. Boom, good hit. All right, I think he's going to do something here. I don't know. I can't block those. I'm so bad. It's got to be, like, frame perfect. I wish I did more damage than eight. I wish it was ten every time. Now I got to really focus on getting myself healed. Oh, dude. Okay, so 10 is a fire attack, and if I eat it, I'm done. So we're gonna go... Uh, I can go Repel Gel for a little bit. Yeah, I'll go Repel Gel for a quick second. I did bring them. This gives me two turns of not getting hit. And Watt's doing five damage apiece anyway, so we got this. Here it comes. Oh, yeah, never mind. I don't need that. We're good. Good. Okay, that's fine. I could do Peach Beam. And then my Repel Gel should go away. Perfect. Good timing. It's only 15 left. So Watt's going to do 5. He's going to have 10 left. And then next turn, we should be able to KO. Unless he KOs me right now with a 10 attack fire breath. So this is a game set match. Oh, there we go. Perfect. I needed that happy. So bad. 
Oh, I don't have 6 FP to do that 8 damage. Um, that's a problem. Why 1 damage? Holy 10! What the heck? Why 1 damage? I don't understand that. What am I missing here? What's supposed to bypass all those defenses? Got it! Finally, friends! Oh my gosh, I- for the final one. Mmm, yeah, Watt, finish him off, please. I blocked that long attack that stuns everyone, and boom, that is the end. Cool! Alright, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, we did have to use some healing items, so... Oh no! Mario defeated me again, he always defeats me, this time. I became invincible, and I still couldn't beat him. Darn it! Watt was definitely MVP for this battle, for sure. Ignoring all the defenses and doing consistent 5 was perfect. The Star Rod. You took back the Star Rod. Oh, Mario. Mario, I knew you would save me. Uh, thank you, Mario. Huh, what? I'm awake? Huh, what's going on? This isn't part of my plan. Yo, Kami Koopa, what's with all the shaking? Uh, your kingship, the battle with Mario was so intense that my device for increasing your power seems to have started malfunctioning. Uh, it's entirely screwed up, and its power appears to be heading back into your castle. I hate to tell you this, but both your castle and this spot right here are about to explode. We must flee, my evil king. We have no choice. What? Are you... really? That That's a big problem. Let's get out of here right now. Huh? Whoa. You know, that's interesting. So Kami Koopa just was bad at building something? And so therefore, her machine just malfunctioned and blew them out of there? Interesting to think about, like... So the battle with Mario and Bowser on top of the the, uh, the arena didn't really matter. Because over time, that would have blown up the castle. Interesting to think about. Anyway, the Star Spirits and Twink are going to save us and somehow bring Princess Peach's castle back down to the Mushroom Kingdom? Here's your Star Rod back. Make sure you don't lose it this time. Oh, Mario, thank you. You did it. You brought back our precious Star Rod. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. We will use it to bring peace back to this world. And now we'll be able to grant everyone's wishes again. All this is thanks to you, Mario. When you look at the night sky, you'll know that the glittering stars are praising you for your courage. Look up upon our bright light and remember our thanks. You really took it to Bowser, Mario. You really socked it to him. What impressive strength. I knew you could do it. Mario, don't think we don't know how hard you worked for all of us. It must have been difficult. We won't forget your efforts. I hope Bowser learned something from all this. Maybe he'll behave himself now. Although, I'd say the chances of that are pretty slim. Tuh, oh well. No words can express uh, completely how thankful we are for all that you've done. Hope has returned both to Star Haven and all the Mushroom Kingdom. We're in your debt, Mario. And Twink, may I say you really rose to the occasion. You've proven yourself to be a grown-up star. Aw, oh, go on. Well, I think it's time we return to Starhaven. All the stars are waiting for us there, no doubt. It's time to say goodbye for now, Mario. May the stars forever shine brightly upon you. Good job. Way better. 
So how are we gonna bring the uh, the castle back down to the Mushroom Kingdom though? Mario, I'd like to thank you too. And Princess Peach, it was an honor to help you in their time of need. I hope maybe to see you again sometime. For now, I'm gonna become a respectable star and make people's wishes come true. Thank you so much for helping me, Twink. You've always been a stellar friend to me. Princess Peach. I, I, well, no, never mind. I have to go. Thank you very much, Mario. I'll always remember you, Princess Peach. Goodbye. See you later, dude. That's the real Princess Peach. Okay, so I take it we're falling slightly down. Gently placed on the Mushroom Kingdom. Oh, so that's it, huh? That's how you took the Star Rod back from Bowser. It seems like another wild adventure is in the books, bro. The castle's back to its normal place and everyone uh, returned home safely. You came through in the end, just like you always do. I know you've been back for days now, but I'll bet you still feel kind of like you're on an adventure, don't you? That reminds me, the pals who traveled with you, I wonder what they're up to now. Yeah, it's been a little bit, right? A little epilogue, see what happens. Look at these two. Gumbario! Oh, Paracary. Hey, Paracary, what's up? I thought you were back at work delivering letters. <laughs> I sure am. This isn't a social call. I dropped by to bring a letter to you, Goombario. It's from Princess Peach. Huh? From Princess Peach? Whoa, she's what's she writing to me for? We didn't find out. I've got to deliver more letters. Thanks, Paracary. See ya. Keep working hard, buddy. Take care. Hey, Goombario, what did the Princess Peach write in the letter? Uh, let me see. Hang on, Goombario. Jeepers, this is an invitation to a party at the castle. It says the princess is having a party and I'm invited to go have fun. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bombette? What's Bombette doing in like the Cooper, Koopa town? Uh-huh, there's the bootler. Okay, fan smack lady bow. Oh, Watt was back in the toy box, huh? So Paracary had to shrink down to deliver that letter and then come out. <laughs> Interesting. Yo, here are the Yoshi boys. Oh, I love the little blue Yoshi. He's so cute. And look, it's Lacky Lulu. And Spike. Right? Remember Spike? Lacky Lulu waited for him. Colorado. Cooper, what are these guys doing? Now then, gentlemen, it's time to scale the frosty heights of the Crystal Palace. Cooper, old boy, you're in charge of guiding us. Your prior experience is terribly important to the success of our expedition. Yeah, leave it to me. I know the place front and back. Cooper! Huh? Paracary, what brings you here? Phew, I finally made it. I have a letter for you from Princess Peach. Oh, wow, this is an invitation to a huge party at the castle. It's directly from the princess herself. It's got her signature on it and everything. Cool. Oh, there's no way I can miss a bash this big, but... But I can't just turn my back on this expedition after I promised Professor Colorado. I should stay here and... Oh, poppycock. Balderdash. Don't be daft, dear boy. Turning down such an invitation would be terribly impolite. This is a golden opportunity. Go to the party this instant. Don't spare me another thought. It would ruin the party if uh, the hero of the Koopa Village, nay, the hero of the Mushroom Kingdom, wasn't even there. Oh, I knew you'd say that, Professor Colorado. You're so kind and generous. I'll do it. I hope you guys will be all right without me. I'm going to party. <laughs> you just bolt out of there. Oh, Colorado, I have a message for you as well. Don't bother coming back home, you wandering buffoon. What a no-good husband. That was a message from your wife. Colorado, you set on this expedition without telling your wife again, didn't you? Boy, she was so furious. 
Good gracious. P -p -p Paracary, why in the world didn't you tell me this first? This is a crisis, old boy. I must, oh, I must away back home with all due speed. Ha! <laughs> okay. That's a totally healthy relationship there. Not. Uh-huh, okay. Great. Uh, you hear something outside? I think I did. I'll go take a quick look. Oh, Luigi, what did we get? A letter? Hey, bro, guess what? Paracary stopped, stopped by to drop off a party invitation. Uh, he said that he's also invited to the party, so we took off and he said he'd see us at the castle when we arrived. Now we better go, too. Wow, look. Luigi coming with. Okay, listen, Mario. I'm just gonna run ahead. There's something important that I have to do. What is it? Sorry, bro. It's top secret. You know, we should play the Mario and Luigi games. That's 100%. Absolutely. That would be the next in line after Thousand Year Door is playing the Mario and Luigi games. Princess Peach should be here very shortly. I did enjoy those. And now, Princess Peach. Greetings to all of you. I'm so glad everyone can be here on this special day. The Star Rod, stolen by Bowser, has rightfully returned to the uh, Star Haven. Uh, peace has once again returned to the Mushroom Kingdom. Above us, the stars shine with more beauty and power than ever before. It seems that they're sending us their thanks. Mario. Goombario, Cooper, Bombat, Paracary, Bo, Watt, Sushi, Lackey, Lester, and everybody across the lands of the Mushroom Kingdom. Uh, we've regained peace because of all of your efforts. Thank you very much indeed. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I hope that the Mushroom Kingdom will enjoy peace and prosperity for a long time to come, perhaps forever. This is my heartfelt wish. So, let's celebrate. Enjoy the festivities, everyone. That's the end. Cool, man. So you guys remember the end credits in Mario RPG, right? Where Luigi was leading a parade in a side-scrolling motion? That's what this is. And it's such a cool little throwback to it. Because remember, this game is supposed to be the spiritual successor of Mario RPG. It was supposed to be the sequel to it. Uh, but they took a different art direction, used a different development company to help develop it. And uh, there we have it. Paper Mario. You know, this game, this game is a, is a, like a nine and a half out of 10 for me. There's, I can't say, I can't say that there is anything wrong with this game. Outside of like, I don't know that there's no post game, right? There's no, after the credits, you go back to the game, you rematch some bosses and you do some other things. Like, I don't think there was a concept of post games back in the day, 20 plus years ago. At the time of recording, this game is 24 years old. Um, but this game, uh, being the second in the Mario RPG series, has really spinned off to even more Mario RPG games, right? Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, we're gonna be playing that very soon. Uh, Super Paper Mario on Wii. Um, then we had Paper Mario Sticker Star on 3DS, we had Color Splash on Wii U, Paper Mario um, Origami King on Switch. Like, all those games are great, and not to mention the entire Mario and Luigi series, which was made by Alpha Dream, a different developer entirely, which is a lot like this game. It's very, very much like this game. So yeah, I would definitely look into playing those games very soon. That's kind of what I'm thinking for the future of just gameplay. If you guys like turn-based strategy with Mario characters and everything like that, that's a game to look out for. Yeah. And there's like a good five games in that series as well, from what I remember. Uh, but anyway, that's Paper Mario for you. I think we did a really good job going through it. I hope you guys enjoyed the new way of playing the game, of doing like some sort of danger run, where uh, we use the danger badges like Last Stand and um, Power Rush, Mega Rush, all those other things. That was really fun. Um, and it made the gameplay, at least <clears throat> the lead up to the two previous chapters, um, really, really fun and exciting. 
but then I was getting like over leveled. Um, so that's something that if I were to play this game again, I would make sure not to battle all the enemies along the way. Otherwise you'd gain so much more experience that you don't necessarily need. And then you won't be in danger mode. So could you beat Bowser with Danger Mario? <clears throat> I, I think it's possible. If all of your items were life shrooms, and you had some damage dodges and some um, hyper offensive, and you go mega bounce, maybe you could even do power bounce with like hyper offensive against Bowser with five HP. Um, yeah, I think you could, I think it's possible. Every time you got hit, you would burn one of your 10, uh, 10 life shrooms, easy. Yeah, you know, that's fine. I think that's so easy because Bowser has 100. Uh, you'd be doing 15 per turn, right? You'd be doing at least 15 damage per turn. That's at least nine turns. And then, yeah, you have 10 items. So yeah, you're good, dude. Anyway, <clears throat> really cool to think about. But seriously, some other games that I played this year, um, they don't even hold a light to this game, interestingly enough. I think Peach had a lot of fun character development in this game. I think that uh, all these, all the characters were fun, right? Mario, Luigi didn't really show up, but he was kind of there, right? Luigi was completely absent in the first Mario RPG, so I guess they kind of made up for it. I love the diary, that was really fun. Uh, just overall, really, really good game. So go play this game, hang out with uh, the, the team, hang out with Goombario and Sushi and everyone else. You guys are gonna have to tell me uh, who your favorite partner was, right? And like I said earlier, um, with this game, like you can go back and literally 100% it even further, like a true 100% by collecting all the star pieces, um, buying all of the badges. Those are the only things that we didn't do in our run. We did a lot of them, but like I was looking at the run and I'm like, you know what? I don't need to spend an extra three to four hours of this gameplay in order to get all of them, because I'm not sure exactly if you get a different cutscene at the end. Yeah, I don't know if you get a different cutscene at the end or what. Um, so that's kind of one of those things where I'm uh, I'm curious about. So if you guys want to go through it, do it. Have a fun time. I showed you where like 90% of them were. I just didn't want to grind coins to spend 640 coins on Rip Cheeto to get his three star pieces. Didn't want to do that. So that would have taken more than three more three more hours to 100% it, so. Um, yeah, it's good, man. It's good. So you guys, uh, who was your favorite partner? That's what I want to ask all of you guys that are watching at home right now. Who is your favorite partner? My favorite partner, uh, you know, it's probably Goombario, man. I think you already know. This is cute. Not as cool as Todovsky and the tadpoles, but still, nice little homage. There's the legendary Crazy Daisies, the Amazy Daisies. We beat two of them. Oh, interesting. Does the credits change based off of how many Amazy Daisies you KO? Or are there always two of them there? I would be interested to see that, actually. I don't know, I, I don't, I, I'm not gonna hold my breath on it. Uh, Goombario was my favorite. Bombat was so good at the very beginning of the game with her first strike attack. Uh, Watt was a good game changer towards the end there, ignoring defenses. Bo was really good when we were playing Danger Mario. We would just like dodge one turn completely. The High Hose. High Hose? What is that? High Ho? High Ho? I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really did. I think Goombari was just really fun. And we're gonna see another Goomba character in Thousand Year Door in our next playthrough of this game. And it's gonna be so much more fun. Um, but of course, with that one, I'm gonna make sure that I tattle on every single enemy so that we actually fill in our bestiary, uh, which is gonna be so, so cool. So I can't wait. I cannot wait, man. But, oh, Shy Guy in Japanese is Hi-Ho? Is that right? Okay, cool, I didn't know that. Learned something new today, that's great. All right, well there's Mario, there's Peach on the parade float. 
Um, yeah. <laughs> I remember the time I watched the credits of Mario RPG Remake, and I was crying because it was so sad. I'm not crying right now. I'm choking back a couple tears because I remember that instance, but... No, this is cool. So the game was made by Intelligent Systems. Uh, they've gone on to create uh, a lot of the Fire Emblem games, which are so, so fun. Um, and they helped out with uh, with even more Paper Mario games, so... They're great. It's a shame that Square Enix didn't make this one. I would be very curious as to what they would have done with, the, uh, with Mario and Gino and everyone else. That would have been really, really cool to see, but... There we have it. Here it is. The end. Yeah, that's it, huh? We just watched the fireworks. I don't think there's anything else. Cool music. And then I think you just go back to your save. Oh, oh, you go back to your save file. I don't know. When I, when I was a kid... And I always beat games. I was always like super paranoid. Like what's gonna happen at the end? Do I have to press a button? Do I have to like press start? Do I have to press minus? Do I leave this on? I don't know, man. I'm gonna create a, I'm just gonna create a suspend point right here, man. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> All right, well, there you have it. That's the end of Paper Mario. Thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you guys enjoyed the series thus far. Thanks for watching the entire ending. It's been a great time. I'll see you guys uh, when it comes to the next Paper Mario game, Thousand Year Door Remake on Nintendo Switch when that comes out. Don't miss it. It's going to be so much fun. Thanks so much for watching. You guys are absolutely amazing. Take care.